I'm showing you how I detangle my 4C natural hair today. I use this technique during the times when I have not blow dried my hair or straightened my hair. I also use this technique when I've gone too long without moisturizing. So I've developed a few single strand knots. Single strand knots can cause a lot of breakage. Well, this technique is to help minimize the breakage, to have less breakage as possible. Here are my before and after pictures. Check out the tangles below in the before picture. We got little Rizzy in the house. She's gonna come along with us while I detangle my hair. Here are my products used. I got my special shea butter mix, and I do have a separate video for this mix, so if you wanna know more about it, leave a comment below and I'll post that video. I got my hair growth oil. I got a separate video for that as well. And we got my aloe vera juice mix. I also have my vinegar mix. I always keep scissors on the hand to help cut out those knots that give me trouble. And I got different size combs to help with the different size knots. And I got my brush and I got some clips to hold my hair in place. First, I'm gonna put my hair in sections. Putting my hair in sections help me manage my hair better because my hair is so thick. I keep the same parts. This is low manipulation for me. The less parting in my hair all the time, it helps me to have less breakage. Also, it helps me to retain my long length. Finger detangling. I do finger detangle my hair to remove the shed hair and some of the single strand knots. Hey, Lil Rizzy, you seem a little puzzled. Y'all get it? Puzzled. <laughs> uh, she's in the little puzzle shape there, you see? Okay. Would you like to ask a question, Little Rizzy? Okay. Little Rizzy wants to know why do we have those tiny single strand knots all the time? Well, little Rizzy, single strand knots, well, I get them from a lot of different reasons or for a lot of different reasons that is. If my hair is dry too long or if my ends are not tucked away and protected or if I use products that my hair just doesn't like, etc., things like that. So those are reasons why I personally get single strand knots. I have my little towel with me and I keep this towel on deck every time I do my hair. It's to remove the tangled hair from my hands. Trust me, it will prevent a lot of extra stress during this detangle process. I got my aloe juice mix here. If you want to see how I make this juice mix, leave a comment below and I'll create a video just for you showing how I mix it, okay? I give my ends a lot of moisture because the ends, well, they're the oldest part of the hair and they are more easier to break. So keeping my ends moist helps me with retaining length too. Which is part of the reason why I was able to grow my hair so long. And by the way, I was able to get my hair down to waist length. Here is my vinegar mix. It helps to balance the pH in my hair and it also helps relieve itchy scalp. 
my vinegar mix. If you want to see how I make it, leave a comment below and I'll create a video for you when I make my vinegar mix. Now I'm applying my oil. This is my special hair growth oil. Now I already recorded a video with me making my hair growth oil. So I do have my recipe in the video. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, so you will know as soon as I post my video with my special hair growth oil recipe, okay? I'm being sure to do a little scalp massage too. Now it's time to get to the part of removing the single strand knots. If you notice, I started with combing at the ends. Here's a close up. I'm focusing on the ends first, and then I work my way down. You see how I'm taking my time to work on this single strand knot here that's giving me problems? Little Rizzy says that single strand knots, we are gonna comb them out till they drop dead. That's right, Little Rizzy. We gonna kill these single strand knots. Aloe juice. This mix is a huge game changer for my hair growing so long. Aloe adds crazy moisture to my hair. Uh-oh, my ends are still dry. Time to add more moisture. More aloe juice. And I'm being sure to rub and mash it in with my hands. You see this knot? It takes a lot of patience to get this knot. My patience helped to promote less breakage as possible because this knot is being stubborn because I'm taking my time to work through it gently, which helped promote less breakage. You see how I'm using the tip of the comb to help also with this single strand knot? I was able to pull it all the way down to the very end, to the tip of my hair. Don't forget, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Also, share this video. And thank you for sharing. Now, check out my well detangled hair. Lil Rizzy is so happy my hair is finally detangled. She's going to hit a backflip for you. Hey.
thank you so much for watching. If you want to see how I moisturize my natural 4C hair, and it shows how I keep it moist for at least a whole two weeks, click that video right here. That video right here. Click this video.